everybody. This is Tim from Maine the Muscle Cars along with cameraman Ken. Seems like almost forever since we've done a video, Ken. It's been a been a while. It's been a week at least. Oh my gosh, Ken spoke. I tricked him into it. He's probably going to edit it out. Um, anyway, today we're looking at a 76 Bronco. A really cool Bronco. I mean, it's a little different uh, departure from what we normally do. This is kind of more of a uh, a bit more of an old school build. It has uh, has some new stuff mixed in, but a really cool Bronco. Uh, I like bought it. it from an owner who did a lot of the uh, upgrades, or actually he paid to have it done. So it's kind of a professionally built Bronco. Uh, Let's see where to start. Uh, under the hood, it has a 302 that that has been rebuilt. It's got a mild cam in it, aluminum intake, uh, good exhaust. It's a nice sounded Bronco. Uh, it's not a drag racer, but uh, definitely has got a lot better power than uh, stock, especially considering the horsepower ratings they had in 76. Uh, it's got a rebuilt C4. It has rebuilt front and rear axles, and he spent blood money on the axles. Uh, those are new ring and pinions, uh, ARB air lockers, 456 gear ratio, um, just tons and tons of money. It has upgraded axles themselves, so it's a lot stronger. So this is a very, very durable Bronco. A lot of money has went into it. It uh, definitely we got, and we do have the receipt documentation too. A lot of guys come out there. Oh, this has been rebuilt. That's been rebuilt. Uh, this one though we have all the receipts to back it up. Um, paint on it, uh, denim blue paint. Um, it's got some miles on it, but actually it presents real well. It's a real solid Bronco. Uh, floors are good, rockers are good. Um, overall, it's pretty stout. It's got some custom features on it. They went ahead and they smoothed out some of the lines on it. Uh, we'll take some pictures. It's got the tailgate, it was kind of customized too, so it's definitely, it's a it's pretty uh, rock solid looking gate, which we'll show in the photos later. Um, now the uh, spare tire setup, um, those ones are hinged, they open nice, they actually lock, so in case you do have something open they don't come back and crush you. Uh, also the, uh, the gas cans and the cooler rack, that all is removable. So those uh, BF Goodrich mud trains are good tires, um, especially with this 15 inch wheel setup because you can really air those things down, flatten them out and uh, locked up front and rear, it is very, very hard to stop one of these. Uh, setup uh, also comes with a high lift jack that's mounted to that front bumper, and that is a stout front bumper, uh, so you're not going to have to worry about uh, hitting anything and hurting it. Uh, so good setup. If you're wanting a rig that you can go out and you can use that looks great, you're going to be hard pressed to find something that uh, is going to be this functional and in this condition at under $30,000. Okay, um, on the inside, uh, this Bronco is nice. I mean, it's just, like I said, this is set up as just a really good driver. I mean, there's a lot of thought. I mean, a lot of times people get into Bronco and you don't really know what's gone in to get it where it's at. Um, us, since we deal with these a lot, it's nice because we get to see some of this stuff, like in the dash, um, you know, these gauges right here. These are all nice high-end Autometer Sport Comp gauges. They all work, uh, the lights work. Um, so it's just nice, you know, the ARB setup here, you know, you basically have all your stuff set up right here so you're not reaching all over the truck to try and accomplish different things. Uh, for anybody not schooled on ARB stuff, uh, basically just basically hit your compressor right there, that just locked in the front axle, that just locked in the back axle. Now you have true locked in four wheel drive. Um, simply just as soon as you just lock your hubs in front, you could do that if you're out and you might need four wheel drive, just go ahead and lock those in. Um, then you just be open. Here's your twin stick uh, transfer case so you can actually control both front and rear axles. Um, if you need a crib sheet on that as far as to tell you which one does what, we can help you out there. But this just gives you independent control of your front axle and your back axle. So if you're out, you know, hardcore using it, that's a really nice option to have. Um, other than that though, the paint is nice on the dash, all the heater controls work, um, headlights work, they've been upgraded to a uh, H4 style which is tremendously brighter than your factory setup. And that comes with a better headlight harness, uh, so a lot of good things kind of are going on in this one that you really don't see on the surface. They kind of go a lot deeper. Um, this one has a lot of stuff that's done, so it's kind of hard to get that across. But uh, That's how hard it starts. You basically just uh, touch the key. It fires up real nice and easy. Uh, just really good manners on this one. So anybody can drive it. 
Um, just nice and predictable. Put it in gear. Immediately, uh, you know, immediately goes into gear. You're not having some old saggy transmission that takes, you know, four or five seconds to go into gear. A uh, little bit of a shift kit, just a little bit of a bump. Nothing, uh, nothing jarring, but you, you definitely know it is shifted. So what that does is that's going to give you a lot longer transmission life. It's not uh, slipping in between gear changes. But it's a nice quiet exhaust note, it's not loud. Uh, turbo style muffler, so if you're gonna go out and drive, that's the setup you want. Because sometimes you get out and you drive and it's just so loud that you're like, oh my gosh, is that drive over yet? Um, again, this one was done to be a driver. All right, inside, uh, it's nice and quiet inside here and it's you know kind of too bad on some of this so you can't always hear the, uh, you know, the amount of uh, volume that comes through on these. So sometimes it is just very, very uh, loud in these Broncos. This one is nice and quiet. Um, and with that, uh, with that quietness also, you're gonna get some insulation from heat. Broncos can get very hot inside in the summer. Um, and if you're in a colder environment, uh, they can be hard to keep warm. So that uh, sound insulation and heat insulation both work together. So no matter where you're at, you're gonna appreciate that. Just in case you are located in a hotter environment, this one has a huge uh, Howe aluminum radiator in it. Also has a nice big shroud. So this one will be cool, uh, you know, whether you want to add air conditioning or you do take it out to Arizona, you decide, hey, I want to go do Moab. This one's going to stay cool for that. Lift-wise, of course, you know, this one has a 35-inch tires, so, you know, it's, uh, it's been lifted. Um, it uses a combination of body lift and suspension lift. So it's a two-inch suspension and a two-inch body, which kind of puts you in that, uh, what I call the Goldilocks zone. Um, they still drive nice. Uh, they still have tremendous off-road potential. You don't need a ton of suspension lift on a Bronco unless you're really, really going to work it. Uh, most people, they wouldn't even put, you know, they wouldn't even press a stock Bronco suspension, of, you know, beyond what it can do. Once you step up to the two-inch kits, you do gain a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of extra clearance. So if you're going to go out and drive it, I mean, this one's still very, very capable. Yet it's very comfortable on the road. It's got nice alignment specs on it. Uh, you can go over, you know, mismatch cement, and the Bronco doesn't dart on you. It runs nice, it works nice. Like I say, this is a really good Bronco and a ton of truck for under $30,000.